What is going on guys? It is Animanga and I am back and really excited for this tournament. So basically this tournament, I know you guys are probably expecting another world tournament, but I'm going to push the brakes on that for a little bit because I have two or three really, really good tournament ideas I wanted to get out first. So for this week, it's the CPU tournament Spooky Caper. And this one is going to be very unique. Probably my most unique tournament yet. So it's going to be 16 duelists. And uh, you got to find out who did who done it, basically. Who did the crime. So I'm going to explain it real quick. The crime is that someone stole Yugi's deck. Now you guys have to figure out who it is before the video runs out, before the last duel is played. And it just, there's no surprise or anything like that. But if you guess it, that'll be good, good on you. It'll just be an extra fun thing. So when each person loses, there's going to be a little tidbit of info for you guys. So uh, just, just guess. Uh, I don't know if I should get about the info. Maybe that'll give it away. I don't know. Just figure it out before the end of the tournament. So let's find out. And yes, I am in this tournament, as I'll show you. So the 16 duelists, I'm sure as you saw in the intro, me, because I did win the last week's tournament, Camula. Yes, these are, these are, um, I've already switched around these placements. This is all random. So me, Camula, Professor, that's Frank, Professor Frank from 5Ds, the creepy guy that Luna dueled. Yes, he's very scary. Um, him and his Ido, the Supreme Magical Force card. Mako Kato from the Yu-Gi-Oh! manga, the old sweet old lady that, you know, was a beast duelist. Wisteria from Tag Force. Lawton from 5Ds. Supreme King from GX. Taro from 5Ds. Yuma from Tag Force, not Yuma from Zexel. It's just the girl Yuma. Alistair. Miss Chono from, uh, the season, from Season 0. Uh, Jean-Claude Magnum from Duel Monsters. Jesse Wheeler, a new character I created from 5Ds. Joey Wheeler's supposed cousin. Valen from Duel Monsters. Orlando, the last GX winner. The, the winner of the Society of Light Tournament. Orlando is here, guys. Um, and Callum from 5Ds. So, quite a few new characters I haven't really used much. It's going to be fun. And we're going to start with me versus Camula. So maybe Camula did it. Maybe I did it. I don't know. Maybe Lawton did it. Maybe Taro did it. Maybe Valen did it. One of them did it. The goal is for you to figure it out. And that's just the fun part of it. So let's get going. All right. The first duel is me versus Camula. Wish me luck. I'm going for my second tournament win here. I'm about to get revenge for all the machine users she beat in GX. Beating Crowler, beating Zane. I'm getting revenge instead of Jaden in this lore. <laughs> I really don't want to heavy storm her yet. I'll start nice and easy. Let her do that. It's fine. Oh, she got rid of... Okay, that was the card I was waiting for. Mm. 
Man, this is a tough decision. Stop that. Yeah, I can't have that. But it cost me a lot of life points. Huh, looks like it paid off. Okay, I'm going all in. Please, isn't this enough damage? I think this is enough damage. I won't even let her get to play Illusion Gate. Yep, that's enough. Yeah, I'm not letting her get to Illusion Gate. That would have been too dangerous. Alright, so I win. Thank goodness. She would have been very, very deadly if she had faced anyone else. Probably would have made the final. So I go ahead and move on. Maybe I'm a little bit too overpowered for these characters. I'm gonna just I'm gonna get myself out of these tournaments if I win this one. So who will I duel? Professor Frank or Mako Kato? No. To warn you, Mako Kato has a very powerful deck. I gave her a very powerful green baboon deck. Professor Frank, I just made him. He's near 160s, 150s. Oh, 150s. Professor Frank versus... Mako Kato, the sweet old granny. With a very strong deck. Oh, by the way, the setting is, just imagine we're all in a haunted mansion, basically. That's why I did in the thumbnail. And just imagine that and when I beat Camila, she just went back in her coffin. She didn't even have any tidbit of info. <laughs> I know, it's silly. Oh, there's his boss, Ido. No, Ido's really annoying it keep, if it keeps coming back. That's basically what it does. But he can only control one of them. Okay, she got her field spell. That's very good. Oh, green baboon. Oh, no, yellow baboon. Doesn't matter. Her attack stat beats yours. Look at that. 2,900. It's going to be hard to beat. But his deck is basically a lockdown deck. You see, as you can see, skill drain and paralyzing potion. There's another one. Bubonic Vermin. That's gonna not thin out her deck. I forgot you can't special summon anymore. And plus skill drain. This is terrible. For Mako Kato, anyway. Good news is you have an invincible yellow baboon. Just can't do anything. Yeah, I just like to imagine where all 16 of us are stuck in this mansion. <laughs> Never thought I'd see sleeping lion useful. <laughs> you go, Mako. She just reminds me of my grandmother, for some reason. Got it. Oh, there's his third. Okay. He has, he's used all three Edos now. Destruct Potion. Was that really worth it? I mean, her monster's Beechers. Her field spell is amazing. Why would you give it to him? He can't attack. I would have given it to Giant Rat. Ok, 
Okay, misplay from Kim Mako there. Actually, Professor Frank has the upper hand now. Ido will be revived. Yep. Ido is a very annoying card. Just gonna keep coming back, you know. Oh, yes. Okay, that changes everything now. Everything has changed now. Oh, nope. Everything is back to normal. So as you can tell, he basically runs a, you know, a non-meta deck. He's running like a counter all of your strategies type of deck. Dang, Mirror Force, that sucks. Ooh, Dark Hole. Why would you set that or try to set it? Some, even though he's playing really well and this duel is crazy, still, like, what what she's doing with her attack stat is enough to, be, to overpower him, as you can see. She's just better than him. She's like, oh, sweetie, you're going out of this game now. I mean, as long as she has another monster, she's going to win. Hmm, she does not, though. Heavy Storm. That was a lot of spells and traps gone. Neither of those cards matter. You lost. Bam. Style on him, yep. Alright, sweet old granny beats creepy cult guy. It's hard to say what he is. I'm not sure what he was. Kidnapper, I guess. He tried to kidnap Luna. So she advances and faces me. Wow. It's like facing my grandmother. Wisteria and Lawton is next. If y'all remember Lawton, you get a cookie. Oh, and basically... Hold on, let me get Wisteria and Lawton up. Basically, Professor Frank, the only thing he had to say was... Um, hold on. Wisteria... Let me get her strong deck. And Walton. He's he's like the five D's burn guy. If Axel's the burn for GX, he's the five D's burn. Walton. Alright, so basically the story for Frank since he went out is that he, and by the way, the cops are here, or the police in this world, are here to arrest whoever the, who done it. <laughs> Basically, they stole a rare and legendary deck, Yugi's deck. So Professor Frank admits to taking it, but then he runs away upstairs and they have to chase him and they can't find him. So he probably is lying. He's a crazy man. Don't listen to him. <laughs> oh, this is fun. And yes, I have all these what ifs went, uh, written down if the person loses. Like, I even have one for me if I lose. I'm curious if Walton's deck is going to be successful. I'm going to say no. I've tested it and it's hardly worked ever. Oh, whoa. Hold on. She's gonna have to get um, the King of Armageddon. If she gets King of Ar Armageddon, he loses. Definitely.
but she does not have it. Of course. Oh, well, okay, this is very dangerous now. Oh, no, that's everything. He lost. That's game, he lost this. Still, this should get out his semi-boss. Oh no, it's not. He's not going for it? He gave up. He gave up. This is the problem with Lawton. He just, he runs out of steam. He's not like Axel where he can keep going. She got her boss. She has guaranteed victory. All she has to do is activate uh, Demise's effect next turn and he loses. That is... whoa. That works. Uh, her metal armor bug working for him works. Yeah. That was impressive. Walton winning by battle is not something I thought I would see. There's no way Lawton's gonna mess up somehow. Watch this, he's gonna mess up. That's game anyway, yeah. It's not gonna be enough. That was impressive. I mean, he didn't really mess up, she just overpowered him. That was, he played okay. He actually played okay. His burn just doesn't work for him. So, Wisteria advances. Next is, I'm very excited, for Supreme King and Taro. So, before I get into Supreme King and Taro, let me just say, Lawton's story is, he was working, he was working in Crash Town, but he had to, he was brought here by a mysterious force. And the force was in his mind this whole time, telling him to steal the deck, but he didn't. So that's a lot better. I made Lawton a lot better than he is in the anime, but, <laughs> but uh, he didn't do it. He just had a spirit talking to him. So granted, he could have still done it, but it's up for y'all to guess. Just guess it. Y'all put it in the comments, whoever you think it is. And, and by the end, we'll see if you're right. So next is Supreme King and Taro. Supreme King, I think, yeah, number, what, 28? And Taro is in 5Ds. He is right there. In case y'all did not know, Taro uses a stall. Zushin deck, if y'all remember Zushin from the 5Ds anime. It also has Final Countdown in it, of course. Something tells me Supreme King is going to dominate him. Like I said, stall deck. Uh, 
five. Okay, he's a quarter of the way there already. Better figure something out, Supreme King. Tara really doesn't need to do anything right now. The Zushin thing doesn't really work until he has like, I forget, like 10 normal monsters in the grave or something. It's like 10 normal monsters, isn't it? Dang, just from that one sword, he's already about at 10 turns. Alright, he's got 10. He ain't gonna hold this long. He ain't gonna be able to hold. Not if he keeps summoning monsters, yeah. This is this is gonna be game. Next turn, Jaden, um, Supreme King will win. Malicious Fiend. Oh no, no, it's game this turn. Yeah, it's two Jets game. Two Malicious Fiends. Oh, no. It, well, no, I forgot. That had 2100 defense. I saw it earlier, too. Okay, I guess one more turn. Two Malicious Fiends, no joke, though. Pretty clutch. Unless, of course, he plays Stratos and uses its effect. Or that. That's game. All you gotta do is attack, Supreme King. Come on. And that's game. Wow. So that happened. Taru, I mean, he got over halfway. Oh, nope, Taru didn't win. He got over halfway there, but he just, he ran out of steam, kind of like Lawton did. So Taru, when he's clear, he's basically cleared. He's just a good guy. Why would he steal, right? Why would he steal it unless he did? And he really, that's his only thing. He's just going with what he believes and hoping people believe him that he didn't do it. So, all right. So, Tag Force Yuma versus Alistair. I don't. Is Yuma with five Ds? I forget. No, she's GX, isn't she? Wait, where is Yuma? I know she was here, right? Huh. No way, I know she's here. What? Oh, I'm, I almost lost my mind there. Now, she has a Light Sworn deck, so be careful with her. Versus, what, Alistair? Okay. Alistair's like number 74 or something like that. 74, yep. So, he's facing the Lightsworn deck, so I don't like Alistair's odds, but I really hope Alistair does well. He'll need to get his boss out early to have even a shot. Mmm. Hefty cost just to stop a 1,400-point monster. That works. Make him waste Necrogarda's effect. 
No, she's smart. She's not using Necro Gardener yet. And that was dumb, Alistair. If you have your boss in your end, you're going to regret that. Wow. Apparently Light Sworn Stink. Spell Canceler. He did use that in the anime. Funny. That's hilarious that he used that in the anime. Yep. Alistair counters. Not another monster though. Wow. This is her last turn. And she wasted it. Finish her off. Get her out, Alistair. Alright. Perfect victory for my boy Alistair. Orichalcus is proud. The Orichalcus is proud of you. So Alistair advances, but the story for Yuma is really that she had actually had one of her other cards stolen too while she was there in the Haunted Mansion. So we're basically on lockdown. No one can go out of here. The police are here. So she's showing that she's missing Judgment Dragon because obviously she didn't play it in that duel. And yeah, she doesn't know why. So it would be stupid to suspect her, right? If she's missing her card herself, why would she steal her own card? So that's her story. Hope y'all are keeping track. So next is Miss Chono and Jean-Claude Magnum. Jean-Claude actually won a previous tournament of mine. I like both these characters, but I always go dual monsters. So Jean-Claude all the way. Mr. Chono, you are right about... You're the teacher. Whoops, no, you're further up. Teacher. They won't let me put Miss Chono on there for some weird reason. Miss Chono and Jean Claude. He is near the front. I made him one of the first people. There he is, 22. He, I believe he won my American Championship. Miss Chen, on the other hand, has done terrible in my in my the only tournament she's been in. Now, Miss Chen runs triple mirror wall, so it's gonna be tough for Jean Claude. What's this? The former champion struggling? The mirror mirror beatdown? What is this? <laughs> Weak mirror card beatdown? Look at this mess. This thing has 700 and this thing has 800 and this thing has 1300. Are you kidding me? You're losing to this? And you can't even, that, John claude you can't even use your Dark Horror Mirror Force because you fill up your back row. You deserve to lose. What is his back row? All ninja cards he can't use. Holy moly. Miss Chono, perfect victory. What the freak? <laughs> what just happened? Okay. Whatever. Miss Chono, perfect victory. So Jean-Claude's story is that he was actually coming to this haunted mansion to do a movie shoot. But someone stole some of his equipment. That's all I have for you for Jean-Claude. So, I don't know. Just tell me. So, Miss Chono's moving on to Alistair. Next is Jesse Wheeler, the cousin of the Godfather games, versus Valen. So, Val... Valen gets to duel another one of the Wheeler family. Hilarious. I did not plan that. 
Jesse Wheeler, just to warn you, his deck is very powerful. Like, really powerful. Oh, you know, he's not actually Joey, so I can't make him Joey. Just do this. Alright, I'm Valen. Yep, already have him there. I don't know who's gonna win this one. It's probably gonna be a toss up like Valen and Joey was in the anime. And yes, I gave Valen the death spots like he has in Legacy of the Duelist. But Jesse Wheeler has a very powerful Beast Warrior deck, or Lycan through it. Because if you remember, in the anime, that was the only card he was shown playing, was Lycan through it. Hmm, look at that power. He actually may win this tournament, he could beat me. Well, this is a one-sided mess. Oh, wow. Ah, oh. Shadow spell ruins it. Okay, yeah, Valen, Valen's out of here. <laughs> Dang, that was the wrong death spot to be destroyed, too. Another perfect victory. Too many, actually, in this tournament. It's going too fast. So, Jesse Wheeler advances. Valen's story. He doesn't say a single word. He gets on his bike and rams out of, he rams out the window with the bike. <laughs> so no one knows. He's up for the bay whether he did it or not. He doesn't seem like the type of guy from the anime though, right? So, last match of the first round, Orlando and Callan. Orlando won our last GX tournament. Callan stinks in my tournaments. I've reworked his deck, I've tried. His deck stinks. The fact that he needs to have no hand to be to play good is bad. So let's go. I'm saying Orlando in this one. I think I went too far. Yes, I did. Orlando, there you are. 135, the spot of a champion. Whoop, I was already in 5 days. Alright, Callan. Yep. Only way I see Callan win is if he gets out Kakapakapu, his Earthbound Immortal. Genius. Genius. That is a very strong Mataza the Zapper. Holy moly. What the heck? And he can attack again. You almost lost half your life points. Talent. Uh, you're dead. He has dang 4,000 attack. Yeah, it's over. That's it. Please tell me you have something, Talon.
Okay, that's something. I'll give you that. You do have no hand. That's pretty good. You have no hand. That was amazing. That's the best thing you could have possibly gotten. Okay, one making a comeback. What's this? Ah, uh, he just doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have the right. He doesn't have any tuner. First off. He's a level two tuner. Dang. Wouldn't the dog have saved you? Doesn't Infernity Beast stop the, the traps? Uh, either way, that's probably game right there. Next turn. Oh crap, he got another? Wait a second. Hold it. That one can't be destroyed in battle. That Infernity Guardian. Oh, no. This doesn't matter. Your life points can be destroyed. Oh, Depth Amulet. And, yeah. Oh, I forgot. He has to have a hand. <laughs> he tried. He tried. So Orlando advances, no surprise. So Callan's story real quick is that he actually came there to the mansion to contemplate his life, basically, and thinking of, you know, this was the end for him. This was the end of his life. And uh, he heard a spirit talking to him and he was telling him terrible things and stuff. So that's all he's got. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, so top eight, Orlando, Jesse Wheeler, Miss Chono, Alistair, Supreme King Wisteria, Mako Kato, and me. So let's get going, me and Mako. Whoop, no, it's not a, I gotta go back. It's a normal duel, single... Mako. There you are, 196. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Got choked on water. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Start with my own protection card. You know what? I'll start with Fortress. Dang. That that's gonna be amazing. She's gonna get her baboon out. That's why I went Fortress early. That spiritual force is going to become a huge problem. Okay. Let me try this. Yeah, definitely get rid of Trajan Horse. Uh, I just don't want to play Mirror Force yet. I have a feeling she's going to Heavy Storm me. Okay, why did you not get rid of the attack mode when there's your boss, Green Baboon? What is that? 
Out of the wild. That's fine. I can beat Green Baboon. Kind of. Hmm, I lost some big, big hits there, but I'm okay. I'm gonna focus on damage here. She's gonna try to come after me with her green baboon. I won't allow it. Mirror Force. Oh crap, she had another. Oh, I'm about to take so much damage. Okay, good. I can get rid of Spiritual Force. She's, yeah, she's done for. I am not going to use that. I'm actually just going to summon Prototype. Because what if she summons another Green Baboon? I need to be ready for it. She's played extremely well. I'll give her that. She's played really well. Much better than Camula did. If Camula had ever got Illusion Gate, I would have been dead. Burglar's dead, and this should be game. Yep. Okay. Kind of tough duel. Granny's, Granny's got skill. She's got game. But I do win this one. So, time to cough it up, Granny. What you got for us? <laughs> so, Mako's story is... She heard her knitting club was coming here and she really wanted to, she really wanted to, uh, you know, knit with her club. But when she got here, she saw that, you know, a few others of us were here. And then all, next thing she knew, she was confused. The doors were locked. The place were here. So she's just a helpless old lady <laughs> who loves the duel. That's it. <laughs> but maybe she did it. You'll never know yet. So, who's going to duel me? Wisteria, one of my most hated enemies from my old Tag Force days. Or Supreme King. This will be probably the last duel of this video, and then I'll continue on the next video. I'm going to go... Wisteria is no joke in this game. I'm going to go Wisteria. I don't think Supreme King has what it takes to beat uh, her. Supreme King's number This is why I said Wisteria. She can wipe your field in one turn. And she can almost beat you in one turn too. That's game. She won. Oh, nope, she attacked the wrong order. She would have won, but she was kind of an idiot. Can you believe that, guys? Did you just see that? I mean, he loses anyway, but did you just see that? Why is she giving him extra turns? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> is she an idiot? 
That better be Mirror Force. It is not. Supreme King is struggling hard right now. Okay. Max C. Dark Fusion. Is this Inferno Wing? Inferno Wing, yep. Not enough. That's not gonna be enough. This one can't be destroyed in battle, I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Into the world. What was your face down? Uh, I was. What was that? Evil Blast? Nah. That's game. Ooh, good, good, good duel, but uh, I was right. Wisteria's better. So let me t give you Supreme King's info real quick, and then we'll just end the video there. So, Wisteria wins. And basically, Supreme King's thing is that. As soon as he loses, he becomes Jaden again, and Jaden has no idea what's happening. <laughs> That's it. So I'm just giving y'all a bunch of like BS stories just for fun. I had them planned ahead of time, but you guys are going to have to figure out yourselves who done it. Who done it? If you win, you get a cookie. <laughs> or you're correct. So, yeah. Just figure out what the theme of this tournament is, and you will, or where it's going, and you will find it out. So I'll see you guys to conclude this tournament next video. Bye.